we've got here is a bicycle wheel. And um, we can give it some angular momentum by making it turn. And then to try and actually shift it from that position, you need to apply quite a little bit of torque. Hang on to this, please. Good. You're right. I'm going to give it some angular momentum in this direction. And now I want you to apply a force and turn it. And you'll notice that he t as it, he turns it one way, he then rotates. And, and then as he turns it the other way, he rotates in the opposite direction. Ooh. Back up straight, and you should be able to sort of come straight up in front of the... I got a better in this direction. <laughs> <laughs> one direction's better than the other just because of the slope on the, the wheel that you're standing on. So what we have here is conservation of angular momentum. When we started off with it straight up, there was only angular momentum in the forward direction. But then as David turns it, because there was no angular momentum in this um, horizontal plane, he has to compensate by turning in the opposite direction, or angular momentum being conserved compensates and turns David in the opposite direction. And then if he flips it over, he rolls back in the other direction. You'll notice that if it's turning this way, he's going in the other direction. And angular momentum is conserved. Thank you. I'm getting busy. All right, you can get down now. <laughs>